Hello everybody, I'm Ice Your Face, and in today's video I'm going to be discussing what this damage calculator everybody's talking about is, as well as how you can use it to your advantage to build better teams and perform better in battle by, know how, by knowing how much damage you're going to be taking or dealing. Uh, this video is just one part of my overall competitive guide for beginners, and the link to the playlist is in the description and in the card above. And uh, yeah, if you're looking to get into the competitive scene, make sure to check these videos out. Uh, they're a great start. For you, or they're a great way for you to uh, just learn how competitive things work. So anyway, I'm just going to jump into the video, I guess. Uh, first off, uh, the purpose of this damage calculator, it, it's pretty simple, really. It's a simple concept. You input a move, you see how much damage it does. You know, and then, you, yeah, that, 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 that's simple, right? Um, yeah, that, there's nothing much to it, really. Just input the proper information and get the get the result so anyway uh the general layout let's go over that real quick up here uh you'll see four moves right here you can adjust them like uh what singe or flaming kick right and then you could see how they affect the damage output uh this is calculated based off the information on this side and vice versa this uh, based off of this information. So basically, just input a Lumine you want. Uh, what's popular right now? Hunter, sure. Uh, put what you want to hit. Uh, what does Hunter want to hit normally? Stratosaur, yeah, let's go with Stratosaur. All right, and then, you know, you just kind of input the information. Like I said, let's just go over a little bit of that. Up here, you see the type. You can actually adjust it in case you want to do your own custom theory crafting. I mean, it's up to you, the gender. Uh, irrelevant in most cases, but there's an ability for uh, that's based on gender, so that's why it's there. Level, you know, obviously affects your stats. Uh, it's set to 50 because that's what most competitive battles are at, so there you go. Uh, the base are just your base stats, you generally won't change these. It, yeah, mo most of the time you just won't change those. Uh, they're, they're already input for you, uh, based on the looming you're going after. Uh, UPs, they're Default to 40, because that's what most cases will be, but sometimes you'll use, like, zero speed sluggish for Bane of Haste, uh, and that stuff. Uh, TPs, well, this, this is the primary part where you go wild. Uh, you, you, uh, just input what TPs you want to have on your Lumion, and then down here we have personality. Uh, again, self-explanatory, just put the personality you have, you know, brawny nimble, very clumsy for under I guess you know something something like this uh, I would explain this but that's not this kind of video anyway uh, ability uh, for the abilities you're only gonna see there are gonna be a lot of abilities you don't see like uh, boast for instance uh, these are only abilities that will be you know have a direct influence to the damage taken or dealt in battle it's just a just a way of cutting down on what all to put into the calculator. But for hunters, uh, hunter, you got power jaw, and then you got your moves like uh, chili chomp, uh, mega chomp, blaze chomp, and then thunder chomp for hunter. You know stuff like that. And then based off of the information over here, let's uh, let's go ahead and give stratus or the set i've already gone over on a previous video i can link that also in the card above you know how do you stratus or i've already done that and showcased it in battle so if you're interested in that 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 that'll be that'll be hanging around somewhere in the video you know and then as you can see here we've got results chili chop doing tw uh 25 or 20 to 24 make a chop doing 25 to 29 blaze chop doing 40 to 48 and then Thunder Chop just absolutely obliterating it because yeah, uh, yeah, there you go. So that's just the general layout. Uh, now there are also extra little things to do uh, right here. They, it's called the field effects. Uh, they, they just have various effects that can influence like you know these, this end result right here. Uh, so first off, we're gonna go start with this. We have singles and doubles. Uh, why you would care about this is that there are some moves, uh, let's just put Earthquake here. Uh, actually no, that's not a good example. Oh fine, we'll just put something weak to it. Revenine, sure. Let's put Earthquake here. Uh, Hunter doesn't learn Earthquake, it's just, you know, it's for the example. Um, 
So some moves hit multiple targets in a double battle, and when they do, uh, their power is actually cut a little bit and, into like 75% of their original power. But that's also covered in the moves section of my beginner's guide. So again, if you're unfamiliar with this stuff, make sure to check those videos out. Uh, so then, for if you're in a double battle, you would select doubles, and then you'd get the proper damage that you'd be doing. As you can see, singles, 92 to 110, doubles, 68 to 81. So that's what the doub singles doubles thing is for. As well as um, down here, ally is dusk, ally is dawn. Uh, that's a fear abilities like dusk and dawn. That's what those are for. You know. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so, uh, what's next? Uh, rest. Okay, so you know how you, there's wait and rest, that's what this button's for. If they're resting this turn, this is like the theoretical, if they're resting, you're going to be doing 1.5 times more damage generally, and that stuff. Icicle Trap, um, that's, if you've ever heard of Stealth Rocks from Pokemon, it's basically that, but... Uh, it, it's something that does damage when each Lumion enters the battle, and it adds that into the calculation. Uh, let's say... Right here. Oh wait, Revenine's not a good example. Let's use Florian, sure. Uh, right here. Alright, so, right here you have a guaranteed 2k on Florian, and then you click Icicle Trap, and it says Guaranteed Oko after Icicle Trap, because Florian takes 50% of its max HP, uh, after coming in for for uh, uh, into Icicle Trap. And right here you have Mega Chomp being a 3-8 KO, now it's a 2-8 KO because it's only at 50% of its health. That's what that's for. Uh, just Entered Battle, that's for a specific few abilities like uh, Ambush, Vengeance, and Tank. Uh, like Ambush, if you want, it, it does double damage if the opponent is just coming in this turn. Like mid-turn. It's not like if they send it out after something dies, then ambush activates. It's if they switch out in the middle of the turn and they just enter, you do double damage. Like here, Blaze Chop, guaranteed 3-hit KO. Uh, just entered battle. Almost a 1-hit KO now. So the, yeah, that's fun. Alright, so Sap Plant. Uh, you put it on either side. Uh, if they're taking damage from Sap Plant, you put it on the thing getting damaged side. If they're healing from it, you put it on your side. It just calculates based off of that. See, get get rid of it. Possible 4 hit KO. Well, it's actually 4 hit KO. Uh, and then it turns into a 5 hit KO. That kind of that kind of jazz. Uh, Blood Drain's the same thing. Uh, because it's also it's basically it's just a weaker sap plant. Uh, Pestilence and Quicksand are just for you know extra damage that they're taking at the end of the turn. And then, you already know, Dusk and Dawn. One second. Then you see this little box down here and a link, and a little hyperlink. Uh, I'll cover that a little bit later. But uh, I forgot to cover down here, status, you know, Paralyzed Burn, Poison to Sleep. Uh, poison and Burn will also show up here. And there are some abilities that take it, you know, moves and abilities that take advantage of the status, so that's why it's there. Current HP, uh, it will adjust if it's a KO based on your, it, it looks the for the KO based on this current HP, so if I put this down, you know, guaranteed 2 hit KO because it's at 82% and that would you know, drop in 2 hits to this. So there you go, that, that, that's what that does. And uh, you know, neat little, neat little thing, you know. Empty, uh, emptying HP bar, that kind of that kind of stuff, you know. All right, but also remember this damage calculator is being updated, so there there could be new features like uh, somebody's requesting energy cost be added uh, here, so that you know they could look at this energy and see how many moves they could pull off without having to reference multiple sources at once. Uh, that kind of thing could be happen. That there there are some abilities that currently you know don't work, and it could happen in the future, like tank actually doesn't work right now. It's supposed to half the damage when you first enter battle, and it's uh, not doing that. As you can see, the damage it's doing over here, still the same. So, you know, this, uh, this calculator is always updating, so be wary of that. 
and always look forward to new things. Uh, when they're added, they should be easier to understand and that stuff. Anyway, uh, let's go over the set maker. So basically, um, uh, I know bright, bright, bright white thing on the face cam, I get it, but there's no dark mode for this. So basically, uh, if you don't feel like manually inputting the information every time, you know, with a, like, like Hunter, you know, you don't want to go in 200, 200, you know, 48, 52. You don't want to do that every time, but you, you, you know, you're going to be seeing it a lot or using it a lot. You could go to, you know, this link, make a set. You could go Hunter. Uh, I, I'm going to delete it right after because I already have something, but you name the set fat or melee breaker. You put in input the UPs you want. Uh, Hunter's generally just going to use all all uh, all 40. You put the HP you're going to be using 48, 52 energy, 200 attack, 200 speed. You input the personality. I know I know I'm kind of going fast if you're if you don't understand this, but yeah, this section's just UPs. This is TPs. They're labeled accordingly. Then you input the personality here, and then very clumsy. The abilities next, so you could power jaw. I'm typing aim in, but there is a drop down arrow. So, you know, there's a drop down so you can actually see it. And uh, then for item power cuffs, level 50, thunder, blaze, chili, mega. And you can make multiple sets. You know, you can make up to what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten at once. Uh, you can save the sets when, when you're ready to go. It'll copy. Uh, you can't see. You can't see it, but uh, yeah, you, you just can't see it. My bad. I shouldn't have moved that. That's unfortunate. We'll we'll, we'll check when you get back. Anyway, it, it it'll basically copy it to your clipboard. Uh, you'll see this. But yeah, you'll see this pop up, and basically you just kind of go back to the damage calculator. Uh, you go to this little box here, just paste it in, you know, either control, control V or paste it in like, nor you know, and just all, all you got to do is click outside the box and it'll load the set and uh, it won't load immediately. Just refresh the calculator and there you go. It's all loaded up for you. Boom, done, easy peasy. And you could do that for multiple lumians uh there is a cap i'm not sure what that cap is to the number of sets you can make but yes anyway let's go over how this helps you build your team so when you're yeah let's say you want to build something that can take on borok i mean we're just going to go through the process of how i built the stratosaur set to you know eat a borok hit so let's put borok in uh 200 attack obviously just just you know you make it as strong as possible this is this is the most likely scenario a very brawny boast boosted borok uh so we put in earthquake i mean it's not gonna do anything stratosaur put in raging tackle quick pounce and mega chomp all right so we see that the moves we have to worry about are right here Raging Tackle and Mega Chomp. They, they both do a meaty chunk. So, uh, what you want to do, what, what the thing here was, we know we want to be robust because we want to be able to take these hits. We have suddenly made, we, we, we have gone from, let, let, let's take away the TPs again. We have gone from a almost two, almost guaranteed to hit KO to just maxing out our HP and putting Robust, we are now in three hit KO range, but we wanna see if we can go further. Let's go ahead and max out our defense. Now what we see here, our goal is to take as little damage as possible with minimal investment. So we can, you know, input it elsewhere. As we can see, we could still be three hit KO'd. Um, this, by the way, this is the public calculator, so it's not going to have the updated information. But I do want to note that um, uh, once the balance changes happen in a few weeks from this upload, either a week or so from this upload, uh, 
I items and abilities will change a little bit, so you might have to come back and redo your sets. But, um, yeah. For, like, for instance, uh, my personal calculator. Here, let me open it up real quick. Desktop. It's, it's on, it's strictly, it's already on my computer. Let's see. Uh, uh, Stratosaur. Yeah, let, let's, let's build it. See, mine's already updated, so. You know. Yay, go me. 200, very brawny. Let's just go with the Mega Chunk because it does the most. Alright, so. Then we go robust. We go 200. And we got, we have this whole thing here. Now. Uh, we, we we could see that if we put the armor on, we could probably get this down to a 4-hit KO. So we do that. And you can see we uh, get it very far to the 4-hit KO. But uh, we we could see that it's not going to ever be a 5-hit KO. This is as little damage as it'll do. Well, I mean, you could go very robust. And, and you have a good chance for it to be a 5-hit KO. But um, we want consistency. We don't want chances. We want what works. So we go... We're growing for the 4 at KO because we can, we have that already. So let's just tick our, you know, tick our defense down until there's a chance for a 3 hit KO. No matter how little, there's a chance for it. Then, you know, you just adjust until that chance disappears. And then, boom, this is the most optimally way, uh, most optimal way to get 4 hit KO'd by this thing. And you could put the TPs elsewhere. Now, this is with a buffed heavy armor that's coming later. So it's going to be different from this when we put on the heavy armor. It's not going to decrease the damage as much, so we can't take away as many TPs. So, right here, as it is right now, we would need 136 defense TPs to uh, keep ourselves from getting uh, three hit, or to guarantee the four hit KO with as little TPs as possible. So now that we've done that, we have extra TPs to put elsewhere. Uh, generally you have 500 we've used 336 so that gives us a grand total of what what are 164 TPs left uh, and just remember at level 50 most things uh, TPs in most stats all the stats except energy are calculated in multiples of eight not four as you can see they have no effect of, on the four but every eight 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 uh, energy is different. It has a different. Uh, div it's divided by something else, so it's it, it works differently. Uh, so yeah, basically, m when you're TP trading, uh, the golden rule or, or not golden rule. Generally, if you're making a general spread, is 200 in one stat, 200 in another, 96 in a third, and then four in energy. Because in most cases, this will work. I mean, there are some cases where this doesn't work as like hunter does not benefit from four energy and uh as well as the starters and some others so yeah just keep that in mind so we have 164 but that's not divisible by eight so we just stick four in energy now we have 160. what you do with that is up to you again you could uh you know let's uh do reflection burst since we're probably going to be moving last if you want you know since it, since uh borok is going to invest and speed you know it's likely going to out you know a lot of Vorox are going to outspeed you regardless of you being very sluggish or not but yeah basically uh let's put a reflection burst here this is not something somebody would use let's just use whatever patch 4 was uh we want reflection burst when double power so 120 to guarantee to hit KO it, so we could either go smart and do this until it two hit KOs, or we could, you know, not be smart, or and we could just go clever to take hits on that side better, and then we just, you know, do this until it two hit KOs, which uh, luckily for us is at 160 TPs when you're not smart, and. Uh, yeah, and that's this is this is our full our full TPs. Now, let, let just just because I don't know personally, let's let's find out if you know 
we can get a better results out of it. So go to 150 like before. Uh, that means we have 104 left. 46, 150, 46, all right. Let's check that again on over here. Uh, smart or clever. Okay, it doesn't actually matter. You could do it either way and you'll get the same result. Cool, good to know. Um, it's always good to check that kind of stuff. Like if you're investing your TPs in one spot or you could use the personality to invest less than another, but that's more complicated. Just know uh, that th this is how I build my sets. You know, I use the damage calculator, look at what I want to take on and adjust my TPs accordingly. So uh, there, there, there you go. That's a, that's a potential set you could use. Uh, for Stratosaur, although uh, for, for the current meta, I mean, it'll be different when the heavy armor is updated and you could put less here. But yeah, of course, you could just, you know, make this defensively tanky as possible. Just go 200, 200. That's up to you. Take as little damage from a physical hit as possible. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. Anyway, so that's basically uh, how you can use the calculate to build a set, you know, Base it off of a lumen you're going to take on and you know adjust, adjust your TPs as you need. Because this will this will show in battle how this works. Anyway, um also in battle, you know, obviously you could try to use this in battle. You have a minute 30 to pick a move, why not use it? Uh if they're at like let's say the Stratosaur is at like the uh, 34%. And we don't, we don't, you're, you're the Borok user and you don't know how much this is going to do. You're going to take the set that you're assuming people will run. Now this requires, this, requ this bit requires you to know how things are run. So as you battle more, you will learn what people run and you could, you know, showcase it in a, in the damage calculator. And then you could see if you have a chance uh, to kill them or if they're going to live the hit. Yeah, I, it says guaranteed to a KO because they have enough to live the hit, but if I were to drop it, you know, they have a chance to get Oko like this and all that jazz. So that's what you can do in battle, but it's more practical to just prepare beforehand because when you're preparing, you actually know what's happening uh, beforehand and then you could play accordingly. So yeah, that's it, the damage calculator is not that hard to use, uh, use but uh Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, I have many other videos like this, like I said, beginner's guide in the description. Uh, it's already it was already linked up there for forever ago. But if you want to see more from me uh, outside of YouTube, I also have Twitter and Discord. Links to those in the description. Uh, with Discord, that I have a whole community in there, uh, over 900 people right now. Uh, with the Discord, you could do various things like help provide to the meta game by like posting screenshots of your teams into the usage stats uh, channel that helps us determine what's being used and we can, you know, wrap our tournaments and various other metagames like a UU, aka the, we can make a whole tournament based off of Lumians that aren't, current, you know, used as much so that they get, they get a chance to shine. Uh, uh, speaking of tournaments, that's where I host all of mine, you know, uh, just go to the Discord, wait for an announcement if you want to participate. And then I also have, uh, we're also, you know, this is where you could input sets for the Swole decks. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, it's it's going to be. It's not yet. It's going to be a location where people can you know get general sets that are common in the metagame, uh, so that they can you know either train or counter you know or you know put it in the damage calculator and you know uh, build accordingly. It's just for people who you know want convenient access to sets. It'll also explain them so that you know why why they're trained as they are. So yeah, that's just some reasons to join the Discord, just join in on that kind of stuff. Or you could just hang out. I mean, I'm almost always on Discord, so you'll you'll it's very likely you will be able to talk to me if that's what you're going for. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Hopefully y'all enjoyed, and I'll see you in another video. See ya.